Good morning, it is another beautiful morning. Winter in Adelaide is great when the sun's out. Um, this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about our new airbag system. Quick sneak of the new warehouse all set up. All right, and this is our new office. Then I'll talk to you about it, all right? It's my new desk. <laughs> but what we're here to talk about is this new airbag setup. So um, it's called the Dash Interlock, and there's a few things that are the same, but there's a few things that are different. This is what it's gonna look like. That's the order code if you get excited. Um, but this airbag, it's the same height as the previous ones we're using, so it's for a lifted application, but the difference is this little thing on top. It took us ages to make this. It's a proprietary, you can't buy it anywhere else. Um, but it's what we're gonna call our Dash Interlock system, and this is what is going to change airbags forever for Y62 patrols. Because we've got a braided line, one and a half meters, you get two of these, that will go onto the interlock system. And once that's connected, like that's it, that's never gonna leak. Also parts we've made, um, our own dash foot, look at that, it's kind of cool, dash off-road written in it. Um, we, we've spent a lot of effort making this and making molds and all that sort of thing. Um, you'll find this is, um, and just basically off our learnings that we see in the workshop, we've made everything under here thicker and ever so slightly rubberized, um, just so it can impact and not look like a stepped on Mars bar after you've done 50,000 Ks. Um, the top hat, uh, again, there was a bit of effort put into that. Um, we've actually reused this for another supplier, but this is something, it goes that way actually, this is something that works and we know works. Um, two lots of braid lines, what else have we got in the box? You'll get these goodies. So these basically uh, interlock air fittings, which are designed to go either at the valves at the back of the car, onboard air, or will give you a bit of extra hose if you're going to um, run it up to the fuel filler. Um, there is a guard for the exhaust. Probably didn't actually need that because we've got braided lines now, but we put it in anyway. When this sits in the coil, um, it's a dash tow coil here, this is never going to leak. We are up to the installation part now. Uh, we've got the master himself down there. So, um, all right, what are we doing as we're putting this in the car? We'll talk about what the differences are. All right, so obviously we've got our new dash uh, platform that sits in the bottom, it sits in there nice. Um, we've made a uh, nice strength and backbone in the back there, which is actually not going to deform as much we're uh, obviously the time will tell but this is what we're uh, hoping so we've sort of upgraded it to make it uh, stronger and that'll sit in the bottom lower control arm like so it's slightly tapered so as it goes in it nips up nice and firm so it shouldn't wobble around well it won't because once it's in there it's in there to stay the previous um, block that we had used to sit and move around and when we service them we'll have to try and locate them all the time or put a bolt through the guts of them. So that's obviously the first best improvement. Um, bag, obviously it's a lot, uh, a lot easier to muck around with. But this here, that's the game changer, the interlock system. Actually, an easier way for me to describe it would be, um, you know how we have common rail with such high pressures and we got all the common rail lines that go to the injectors, they have the same set up where you bolt that um, on top and it beds itself into the little uh, cone section. So that section in there is done up so tight, it makes its own home on that top section there. So for us to get this is just amazing. It's never gonna leak. Once you've done that up tight, there's no, you know, you don't have to put any of that uh, sealant on there. There's no nothing. You just put it on, lock it down, Two spanners, lock it up, and it makes its own seat. Beauty. Perfect. This ah. particular um, this particular side is actually a good side because obviously we've had a lot of issues with the exhaust heat, with the normal lines that we run up. We've been hiding it behind the chassis. We've been cable tiling on top. But when you tie them with these patrols, they produce that much heat at the back on the exhaust that uh, it starts to get that um, that plastic line. It goes soft and it can blow holes in it. So now we're going to be running the braided line Excellent. and it's just never going to be an issue. Um, but yeah, 
So also after we've um, installed the new base that we've upgraded, I've also um, stayed with the uh, the design because I'm, I much prefer this little rubber with also the uh, tapered section to go to the top. So when it goes to the top in these patrols, it goes in there and because it's tapered, it stays there. So I can get that, squash it in, and that's never ever gonna fall down and interfere and get cut up as it sits over. Because as soon as that goes over there, the car's on the ground, it gets crushed and pinches it and it absolutely cuts it. So this one here is a much better design for it to go in, locate, and stay there forever. Yeah, the top's pretty important actually. Just that hole because the coil when you put it in a car, it isn't just straight up and down, there's an arc to it. And when it leans over on articulation, that's when um, the hose can bend and leak. Whereas when it's interlocked and that is going to stay in place, I don't think we're going to have that problem. With um, other brands, we've been doing our own little you know, upgrade to it and running a bit of tape around it just to um, get it to go in there and have a bit of a step. So once it's in, we're hoping that that tape, but you know, like, we don't need to. It's faster and it's designed that's with, good. with the, all the floors you know, combed out. So we've got a really good bag set up. So continuing on from um, obviously the hose, I just want to go back to the, obviously the extra fittings that we're getting now. So in your, um, your dash box, you'll find you've got all your little adapters. But in this case, how good is this? At the other end, you've got another one of those fittings that I was talking about, like the common rail. The, once it's on, they don't leak. This fitting here, if you were to go and put the uh, normal valve to the back of the bar or on the TLR bracket, it's actually got the interlock on that too. So, winner, winner, that is never ever gonna leak. So you can imagine that fitting done up super tight on there, there's nowhere it's gonna be an issue. Like it's it's perfect. All right, if we got onboard air? So if we got onboard air, they've even thought of that. So onboard air, you've got this adapter here, which onboard air comes with the black pipe still. We understand that we've got to you know, muck around with that. But that fitting, I've played around with all the onboard air stuff. I've played around with all the little adapters and the wire pieces, T pieces, whatever they give you. You just have a little bit of trouble with trying to get it to seat properly. The internals of these uh, have like a little steel insert that locks onto the hose. When it goes in, it locks. And sometimes that little steel insert goes over top of the O-ring inside there and can cause an issue. These ones are solid. There's no separate part down there. That, that little, uh, piece at the top there, the quick release, is all one piece. So when that goes in, it got nothing can drag over the O-ring and it just slips in nice and it goes over the O-ring, locks, done. Yes. So that there is gonna be an absolute winner. And it also interlocks onto yeah. the braided line. I think the so metal, metal bit's good. The metal bit is brilliant. Often we get asked to run the lines up to the fuel filler. What do we do in that case? So also in the box, we're gonna be giving these like flexi line so we can go to the fuel filler and that can bend down and follow the fuel lines down cutting that at the right length also using that fitting that we would for onboard air you'd be able to slide that in and have an extension with that on there yeah and now we're past all the hot sharp stuff that's what you use a braided line and yeah. that's fine once we're away from the heat so this is going to be in the elements that there's not yeah yeah cool excellent thank you all right we better put it in the car now steve no oh, all right <laughs> hurry up have my lunch. <laughs> All right, here's the finished product. Um, looks good in there, hey? Um, black and gold. So this is, like I said, for a lifted application. You can't do it in a standard height at this time. Um, working on it, but it's gonna be some time away. But how good does that look? So that's it, and if you've gone that far, there's probably one other thing I'd recommend you doing. You can do airbags in a Y62 Patrol. It's this. Our onboard air system so compressor on and if you're going to manage your airbags before you drop it on the ball you pump it up to 50 say go and check if the car is looking level and then drop it back down and to the appropriate height all from the control inside um, it, the cabin so if you're sick of airbag leaks as much as we are um, get yourself some dash airbags and never have to worry about it again because they will not leak